Uh, hey guys, uh, this is Master DK. You might notice I, I sound a little bit more mellow uh, this time around, and that's because, well, it's been a very stressful day for me. Um, not because I had to do a lot, but just because it's, it's just mentally stressful. And uh, I would just explain this in a thread on Twitter or a community post on my YouTube channel, but I feel like I wouldn't convey what I want to uh, that way, so I'm just going to give it to you straight, talk one-on-one -on -one with you guys, and uh, just give you an official channel update video to explain things. Um, for the past four years now, I've been taking college courses. I've been trying my hardest to pass all these courses because I was working towards a certificate in programming. and. Uh, I was very confident in doing that um, when, once I was out of high school. I felt confident that I would succeed in a field that required knowledge and programming. And it was something that I was very interested in, that I wanted a better education in. Well, that was more towards the beginning. Down the road, I found that the only thing that college was causing was stress for me. And uh, and the accomplishment that I felt was more towards the work that I was putting into everything and, and instead of, you know, what my end goal was. More and more, I started to feel like my end goal was not really what I wanted to achieve, not with all the work I was putting into it. And it's something that a lot of people come to realize when they go to college. They don't know what to do after all is done so they have to find a new path to take in their lives and a lot of people succeed outside of college as long as they put in the time and effort uh, you can do anything and college is not a sure thing you can have all this experience you can have the highest of degrees and it still might not be enough it still might not be enough. It will be up in the air still. And I realize that's not the life that I want to strive for. It's I'm not going to say that it's an impossible goal to reach. It's just not something that I think I have the patience for, that I have the tolerance for. And I do not blame the college system whatsoever. Uh, they do an amazing job of what they do, and I feel like my professors did everything they could to make sure that we pass, that we make the most of our experience in each uh, field that we studied, and they had their flaws, but they were very minor, and most of it had to do with, you know, them not teaching in a way I'm accustomed, and that's not their fault, but, uh, Anyways, I want to uh, let you guys know that I plan on taking a career path uh, very, very soon. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. I should be telling people in my personal life about this. But the reason I'm telling you guys this is because I don't know what it's going to do for my channel. And here's the thing. I want to keep, keep up my content on YouTube because I enjoy it. I have a passion for everything that I do for it. Video game streams, I'm very passionate about video games. I want to keep do playing video games. And I feel like my only outlet right now for video games is to play them for you guys. I want to keep doing that. Music, I want to keep doing covers. I want to keep writing music. Even if it gets me nowhere career-wise, I want to keep doing it. Because it's something that... Fucking thunder's starting up. It's something that I want to do. It's something I enjoy doing something that fulfills my life without it I don't know where, what I'd be doing uh, there's just so many things that I love that is not a guaranteed thing for my future to act like I even have a shot at a YouTube career at this point is simply unrealistic and will, will lead to nothing but trouble for me down the road so it's only fair to not look at you, my YouTube channel as 
as something productive for my future. I always thought of it as a hobby, and I will continue to see it that way. But I still want to do it because it is a very fun hobby, and I get to share what I love with so many people. I have, I've had so many people support what I do, and, and it's given me this fulfilling feeling that I think will never go away because I know there's people out there that love what I uh, make content for, and I want to reach out to those people. Uh, I've said from the very beginning, I want to reach out to as many people as I can with what I love to do. And I'm going to keep doing that. So I want to be able to focus on that. And I also want to focus on putting in all the effort and time possible into the work field. There are a couple things. I won't give away anything just yet because they're not sure things. But there are opportunities for me. Um, things that I want to get into that involve getting on with my life, getting a better job. I've been working the same job for the last five years, and it's it's been enough for me to afford the good things in life, but, you know, there's more to it than that, and there's more that I can do, and I want to be able to achieve that. I feel like putting in a bunch of hard work into something is the best accomplishment I can I can have. And with college, it's not the work that gives you a better future. It's how well you do it and all these different factors that play into it. And it's not something that I enjoy anymore. It's not something that, that is compatible with me anymore. I feel like the hard work should bring about something. Something should be shown for all the hard work I put into things. And I feel like if I go into the work field... It's, it's going to be more about that. I've always been determined to do things when I know that there is something to show for it. So I, I, I try my best to work hard and do what is necessary. And it took me a few months to realize that, to realize that that is what I want for my future. And it's something that I'm willing to work towards. You know, pushing the thought out of my head the very idea of skipping college or dropping out of college because I was scared of the thought. I, I, was, I was afraid that no one would be accepting of that choice that I made. I felt like I would be throwing my life away because just because of the stigma of college, you know, the stigma of, oh, if you go to college, you have more of a chance of going somewhere in life. But, you know, that's not really the case. It's, it's, it depends on what you want to do with your life. I mean, college is arguably an easier route, but not really because there's more progress that needs to be made, you know? And you could just be stuck in one place for years and years in hopes that maybe you'll have a successful future. And I'm not saying that to, you know, shit talk people who go to college and are determined to go somewhere with college. I'm not saying you guys should drop out, that you guys are doing nothing with your lives. I'm not saying that. Don't, don't interpret it that way, please. It's just not me. It's, for a lot of people, it just doesn't work out that way. And at that point, you got to change. And that's what I want to do. So uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I love doing what I do on YouTube and I love the support you've given me. I really just want to thank you guys for being with me this far. I've almost been on this channel for five years and it does not feel like that at all. It feels like I started a couple years ago, but you know what? Time is a bitch. <laughs> it is. And um, my time is being wasted just sitting here wondering what I'm going to do with my life. It's time to act. So I'm going to be acting a lot <laughs> and be expecting more YouTube content in the future, in the very near future, because it's not going away. I'm going to keep it up as much as I can. The only way that I'm not going to be on YouTube anymore, there's two possibilities in my head. One, if it's completely impossible for me, if my schedule will not allow it whatsoever, I'll stop. And two, if YouTube doesn't get its fucking shit together, 
and stop going after creators. Like seriously, this new copyright tool, I haven't addressed this in a video yet, but the copyright tool needs to die. It needs to die before it becomes a living entity on YouTube because it's going to affect everybody. Everybody. I'm, I'm sure a lot of YouTubers have received an email saying YouTube is putting a new copyright tool onto their platform, basically automatically matching up similar content so that automatic strikes and claims can be filed. And that's not bettering their copyright system, that's worsening it. It's guaranteeing that creators will get hurt. And I do not support that. I don't think anybody should. It, it, they claim it's to prevent thievery, but that is not the solution for that. It's always been about how well the platform is monitored, and they suck at monitoring it. They always have. And they need to do it better. They need to increase their staff. They need to do all these things to better their platform. And they're not bothering. That's the thing. So they need to change that. Stupid thunder. They need to change that if they want to continue with their platform. They're going to destroy themselves if they don't act. Anyways, I'm not going to go into a YouTube rant. I'm just telling you guys what's going on with my life. And... Just to thank you guys for everything you've done for me. Um, I don't want to say that you made me the person I am today. But I do want to say that you have been a great help uh, with moral support and just, you know, being there for me all these years. And it's a great feeling. It's one that I would not want to give up because it's... <laughs> it sounds like I'm crying. I'm not crying. My voice is cracking because... My voice is going away. Anyways, <laughs> I feel like I rambled enough. You guys sh um, should uh, get on with your days and, you know, just live life to its fullest because, you know, you're not given all the time in the world. Nobody is. And, and you have to cherish every second that you have in this world. And uh, I hope that you do it the best you can. Um, so thank you guys. I'm not going to self-promote. Because this is not what this is about. This is about getting getting things off my chest for you guys. And I look forward to putting out more videos for you guys. Because you guys are just that special to me. And you know I do it to uh, feel fulfillment in my life. But also to reach out to you guys as much as I can. And uh, you giving me all this positive feedback is proof that it's not a moot point. So uh, thank you guys again. And I'll see you in the next video.